I guess just to be back at this point, I mean, this was the end goal. This is where you wanted to be, to be loading the plane at the end of the year. This, this is what you worked so hard for all season long. Yeah. Um, you know, I think as a coaching staff, you sit at the beginning of the year and you set out a master plan for how we want to get better as a team um, physically and mentally. Um, and I think mentally was probably one of the biggest things we hit um, from uh, the end of our last um, games versus Mississippi State last season. So um, sitting here, you know, it's surreal, but it's also uh, really cool because uh, I think we're really proud of the work we put in and the opportunity to go compete for a national championship. Do you playing in this venue, um, you know, this big venue out there in Oklahoma yeah. City, you know, what do you tell the players, you know, to prepare for, looking for, you know, preparing for these games? Yeah. Um, I think first of all, if I ask all the returners, like, you know, share the ones that haven't been there what it's like just to hear their perspective. And um, I think one is it's really loud. Um, you know, it's a lot of noise and really loud, but sometimes it's not like playing here is Florida State loud. So there's a difference, you know, we'll have our fans, our 200 people, our fans, but when you talk about the whole stadium, it's a lot of people that just love softball. So you get, you get loud noises. So we got to communicate and, and be pretty good on that side of it. Um, I think also like, you know, it's like you get to be like a little celebrity there. Um, everywhere you go, um, a lot of kids are there coming to watch softball at a high level. and. Um, you know, it's like stardom. They get to see all these amazing players from all these schools. And so, um, so that's a lot. So that's a, like, uh, you know, you're really on, I guess, on all the time. You go to a coffee shop, you know, you're on all the time and pictures and autographs. And so downtime is super important. And we, we tie in some, you know, downtime we get in there too. Um, and then I also think too, it's just another tournament. You know, um, it's not because we're here today and we're talking about going on a charter to Oklahoma City. But it's just another tournament. It's just a softball tournament. Um, there's nothing different than what we've been doing all season long. So if we can stay grounded uh, in that, and that comes from the trust you built with your teammates. So the minute it gets pretty big, can we just look each other in the eye and be like, man, it's just another ground ball, fly ball, and a runner at two, and, and keep it that simple. How beneficial is the familiarity with Oklahoma State? Yeah, um, it's very beneficial to have played teams already and played in the state of Oklahoma already. Um, but we're a different team than uh, we were when we played them. They're a different team uh, now too. So um, so I, I think that the fact is we've gone through this gauntlet of a season and now we're prepared for anything at this point. Um, I think the familiarity for Oklahoma and Oklahoma State is they play at that venue quite a bit. Um, they play the Big 12 tournament there. They play regular season there. So it'll be really comfortable for them. It may take us a while to feel out the fences and feel out things because that is a different environment. Um, but when it comes to competition, I think it's more um, what we do and then how we're going to do it against teams that maybe we've already seen. You mentioned the crowd. I mean, you're going to get a taste of that right off the bat because it's, you mentioned it, it's kind yeah. of a, it's not as much of a home game as it is for Oklahoma, but it yeah. is still a home game for Oklahoma State. Yeah. Is that something that you just, I'm sure you'll talk about it, but until you're in it, yeah. you're really not, they're not going to really understand what it is. How do you address that with um, the team? Uh, I mean, it's what you play for. <laughs> so you want to be in these environments. You want to be in the, the probably the, the biggest thing is it's two layers. So it's almost like a football stadium. It echoes. So that's going to be a little bit, you know, unique. But we played in some great environments. Clemson was a great environment. Vatek was a good environment. Like we played in some, some heavy um, fan yelling and uh, big game moments environments. And um, I don't know if uh, much more other than playing Super Regionals at our place with our fans. I mean, it was extremely loud and electric. So we've been in a lot of really good moments that we can rely on. How far ahead have you scouted, you know, cool opponents like, like a Washington or Utah? Yeah, um, nitty gritty scout scouting, not yet. That'll be more probably tonight. But um, over the weekend, there was a lot of watching games of all the teams. So um, I wouldn't say it's, I'm very familiar with all the teams. Our players are too, because they were able to sit home on Saturday and Sunday and watch some games also. But the actual nitty gritty will be a little more detailed tonight, tomorrow. Coach, how important is game one? I mean, if you get that game, <laughs> you um, you get the day off, you get to set up your pitching staff, you know, the way you want it. How, do, how big a deal would you yeah. get that game? I mean, um, we have not done it that way. So all of ours have been a loss. So I don't know, honestly, you know, what game one winning is like. but. Um, I mean, statistically, it's huge. Um, rest is huge. All those things are huge. But um, I don't put extra pressure on that. I mean, we got to go play the game, and whatever happens from there, we go. And probably the great thing is we've had a lot of experience losing game one and getting in fight mode and getting after even winning a championship. So, um, so I think when you look at numbers, you're like, oh man, if you lose a game, where are you going to be? Well, we've been there, so we know that we can fight and come out of it. And um, so I, I don't put a lot of pressure on that. But obviously, statistically, that's a huge advantage to win game one.
can you talk about the time slot that you guys, I don't know if it makes too much of a difference, but you know, there was the 12 and then all the way to 9.30, you guys land the 7. Do you, is that gonna benefit yeah. you guys anyway? Or I guess how are you feeling about it? Yeah, I mean, night games, um, you know, sometimes are tough because what do you do all day long? Um, so you've got to manage your nervous energy at that point. Um, but I mean, we, we've been doing that a little bit too. So, I, you know, at this point, you've been together as a team and, you know, can you just, probably the biggest thing for me is do we get downtime where we can get away and just not be so engaged and take away that engagement energy and, and just, you know, get a couple hours by ourselves to be able to get after, you know, the game. Coach, you mentioned the fans. Well, he's so cute. <laughs> he is so, so cute. cute. I... Fit in that backpack. Right? <laughs> it's bigger than You mentioned the fans. I mean, electric atmosphere in Tallahassee. You guys have had such a good turnout yep. at OKC when you've been there. Even the boosters today yep. to make this trip possible. Just to Florida State fans, just mm -hmm. how thankful are you to have this fan base behind your back? Yeah, I mean... Um extremely thankful for our community you know our fan base is incredible there's a Florida State fan base and we have a community um, you know and, and I joke about family being of core value and really important to us um, but it is a lived value here uh, it is something that um, when we go visit TMH or um, you know the fire department or whatever it might be um, everyone feels so invested in the games you know and everyone I get so many random emails of like oh man Georgia's knocking out the lines tell the umpire you know everyone's so invested in things and I love it I think it's so awesome um, so to me that's what college sports is all about um, and we're able to um, have a fan base in our hip pocket and it's not judgmental it's uh, it's very um, it, everyone enjoys softball and they enjoy the girls and they, and they enjoy the environment so um, so we're very lucky for that you ready to go play football? Oh yeah, yeah. I think we've been playing from all season. Uh, I think, uh, you know, at this point, you know, it's um, anything can happen. The ball can bounce anyway, you know. But we're the most prepared team we can be. Uh, and I think we flipped the switch probably two weeks ago. Um, everyone's all in. Doesn't really matter how it happens. I mean, you could see Autumn Belvi and Amaya coming off the bench and getting 60 feet, and um, there's an electricity about it, you know. So everyone knows their role. They're ready to be, you know, all they need to be for us.